I don't understand why these niggas coming in. They're like, why are men looking for other men to watch? You three men in here, like how? Sir, no one over here is on that. Like what? I remember a girl I was talking to. She said she hate niggas so bad. And I still don't know why, what she meant by that. Like, what? I don't know what she meant by that. That shit hurted me because I'm like, I'm a nigga. What did I do? I, I just met you. Like, I literally just, I we didn't even start talking yet. You know what I'm saying? And she already, I hate niggas. I'm like, oh, shit. That nigga did a number on you. Like, he fucked your mama, your sister, and your auntie. Damn, okay then. Alright, for real, for real. Um, fuck. I was really trying to save up all the energy that I see this embarrassment and I could really get it like how I want it, but I don't want to do it anymore. I, I, I really don't want to do it like at all anymore. Like, <sighs> all right. So. Let's see how Princey Prince, a.k.a. also known as Mr. 4K, a.k.a. also known as, damn, how many names I got? Freaky P, also known as Prince, also known as Princey. Also known as Junior. <laughs> also known as Junebug. Also known as JR. Like, how many people just be making that name? Like, oh yeah, he look like a Junebug. You know what I'm saying? Like, alright, anyway, fuck all that. Let's get to this bullshit on how a real nigga almost died. Yeah. So, we gonna turn this up as high as possible. They should have gave me 1080. Yeah, let me get that 1080 up off of, uh, up off of y'all. CBS. What is it? CBS? WP. All these extra acronyms. Uh, nigga, I don't even want to know. I told my mama, man. I told my god mama. The mama that God gave me. I told my god mama, man. When I grow up, I want to be on TV. All right? I meant like a movie. I wanted to be a star in my own movie or something. But I guess this is not the image that... Alright, whatever. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Whew. Car as it speeds down I-95. Ah, do not try this. This is just the latest risky ride we've seen out there on South Florida's road. Bruh. 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 The first thing came to my mind, I'm looking at the slippers. Like, that's all I see right now, the slippers. I'm imagining my feet just rolling under the whole car. Like, nigga, dead. Like, wasted. Like, what? Alright. I can't even sit right. Like, what? I can't even, like... Alright, hold on. Ways. Our own Roy Ramos is live in Pembroke Park to show us more. Roy. Yeah, Lori and Calvin driving on I-95. This is the last thing that you would expect to see, but this is exactly what drivers said they saw right here on I-95. A man on the hood of a car, a car that was going at speeds of about 70 miles an hour. You've likely heard... Oh my gosh, he's gonna die. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bruh. I was on phone. I was on the phone with God that night. Guy was like, all right, I need all the cops. I need everybody. Like, I got him. 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 And the fucked up part is the whole trip, I did not see one cracker in sight until the end. You know, like how you just usually be driving around, smoking your blunt and shit like that, mind your business. And a hundred crackers around you just, just pulling up out the blue. Woo, woo, woo. And there's all type of shit. They just got all type of activities going on randomly out the blues. Coincidentally. Niggas out here dying in these streets. Everybody on coffee lunch, coffee breaks, lunch break. All type of dumb shit at the gym. All type of dumb shit. 
have snagged more than he bargained for. At speeds up at 70 miles an hour, he clinged to the hood of this black Mercedes with one hand while on his cell phone with the other. Surprisingly, his sandals What still kind of slippers was I wearing? Like, that don't even look like Nike. Like, I know I only wear Nikes and shit. Like, I need that slides in my life. Because that slides, it stayed with me, boy. I ain't even going to lie. I don't know who could be on top of any type of car going over 70 miles per hour. And the slippers stay with you, my nigga. To be honest, I really don't want to laugh about the whole situation. I wish I had a Glock, you know what I'm saying? I handled the situation like how I've been wanting to handle it. But I'm not that type of person. I, you know, I live by a code of forgive and forget, you know. But I can't. This is a shit that I can't forget. So what I got to do is I just got to keep watching this shit, like, you know what I mean? Just to try to help me get over the situation. Like, I still can't really even walk over a bridge without feeling some type of way, but we ain't going to talk about that bitch nigga shit. Sticking to his feet as passing drivers recorded video of the man as he zipped past cars on the express lanes of I-95 near Hollandale Beach Boulevard. That is not he even no regular speed. Daniel Mina said he was this man looking at his dash. Last night when he looked out of his window to see the driver with a person on top of the car. Oh my I think he was like, this guy's going to slide off and hit me, slide off the other side, or if anything, he's going to slide down and she's going to hit him and then she's going to crash into somebody else. After Mina said he witnessed the driver exit at Ives Dairy Road, he called 911, but... He believes nine one nigga the king what driving the car he didn't even look like he was like freaked out by like what was going on but like i was freaking out <laughs> nigga, i was terrified nigga. you ever been the first time you get in some shit you'd be like man look man just handle it as be what car near deerfield beach and this man who rode his bicycle during rush hour traffic See, no that's the shit I need to start incident, doing. I, I think I'm gonna start riding my motherfucking no bicycle and shit. It wasn't just their safety. I don't think like the car is it. I'm gonna have to right. buy a whole car. And I'm still not even. I ain't even gonna lie. I've, ever since this whole situation, I've been skeptical about cars. Nigga, I don't even wanna drive. Fuck that. I don't even wanna get in the front seat. To be honest, if it was up to me, if my destination had a bicycle route, I'd be on that shit. If it had like a. What's safer than a car, to be honest? I can't think of what would be safer than a bicycle. Because, bitch, I ain't going to lie, bro. Uh, like, I don't know, bro. I just can't believe I let myself go like that. Like, looking on the, like, what? This black Mercedes with one hand while on his cell phone with the other. Surprisingly, his sandals still sticking there to his feet as no passing drivers recorded video of the man as he zipped past At cars on the express all. lanes of I-95 near Hollandale Beach Boulevard. Bro, she's definitely pissed off at him or something. Daniel. Oh, you think she pissed off? Nah, more like she trying to get him off out of life, nigga. Um, and that shit happened 2018, June 25th. Anyway, man, so, yeah, like I said, I'm a recording studio artist. My name is Princey Prince, um, also known as Prince Jr. Ricardo Francis. However, whoever you know me, I don't mind saying my government. I ain't hiding from nobody. I be outside. Like, I really be outside. Like, I'm that nigga that be standing up at the stoplight just watching y'all drive past, just saying what's up to everybody. I'll probably fuck around and wave and be like, yo, what's up? You know, or I'll be that nigga that's just posted at the corner store just chilling. You know what I'm saying? You like, he not selling drugs? Nah, he's just getting fresh air. That's it? Yeah. You know, like, I'm that dude. So, I ain't nobody special or better than nobody. But, like I say, I, I like, you know, making people happy and shit like that. I, I like making music and stuff like that. And, um... Like I said, I got new music out on Amazon, Spotify, all that shit. But that ain't even what this this video is about. This video is really something personal for me. It was like a personal moment where I realized that I'm more important than how I allowed someone or people to use to treat me. You know, the type of treatment, the type of shit I used to put up with. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at the dash, a hundred thousand. Like what? Uh, I don't even know what it is. But anyway, ten thousand, whatever. It don't even matter no more. Is that a Maserati sign? It's all type of shit. Oh no, he in the Maserati. Okay. Um. Oh, and his shit is at ten. Okay, cause I'm like, I ain't never been in a car that only had ten thousand miles. What? That's a brand new car, bitch. Everything I had was always used. I'm talking about it was so used it came with probably, bitch rappers, all type of shit in the trunk, all type of dumb shit. You feel me? Um. This is that video that lets me that reminds me of things that I don't want to go through or want to do or be a part of ever again. I don't want to share a car with nobody. I don't want to wait. I don't even want to have a car conversation with anybody. To be honest, I hate the fact now that I like selling cars and stuff like that because fucking around with someone, nigga almost died. How are you going to die on a car? What do you mean on the car? How are you going to die on the car? This bitch took the nigga like she took the nigga. He was like, he was on the shit, and the bitch was like, fuck it, let's go. I'm like, what? Where we gone? Took the nigga. Uh, I don't even like speaking on the situation, because I'm not that type of nigga to try to go back in the past and fix or make shit better or worse. It happened already. It been that. I'm not trying to do no interviews for no money or no publicity stunt. None of that shit. This was one of the most degraded, most disrespectful, most... Worst moments of my life. And I say that from the bottom of my heart. I don't wish death on no one. I don't wish negative on no one. I just wish the other adult in the situation could have been more of an adult. You know? Um, and did some adult shit. But hey, is that's this is planet Earth. Walk on the planet Earth, everyone, and this is how we be living. I guess I don't know. I don't know. But that that was my point when I was like, oh yeah, nah, I ain't living like y'all, bitch. I'm gonna live some other way, bitch. I'm gonna live the other way. Like what? I'm good. I'm good.